Hello and welcome to this quick getting started screencast um, with the JBoss EAP7. Um, so first thing to do is download the bits itself. If you actually have a Red Hat subscription, you can go to the customer portal and uh, download the relevant EAP platform. And we're also going to need the JBoss Developer Studio, um, which is in beta 1 right now. So make sure to download them. If you are a developer and just want to play around with everything, just head over to jboss.org. Um, you find everything there, like hit the big green button and download latest EAP7. In this case, the beater. To not actually waste any time on uh, downloads, I prepared everything so far. So the first thing that we are going to do is install the JBoss Developer Studio. Um, this is literally just a few clicks, so um, click next, read the license agreement carefully, accept if you're okay with that. Um, we're actually going to install everything into a special folder, like screencast. Um, it tells me that he's going to create the target directory, and actually we want to have a specific um, JDK um, so this is getting in here. What else do we need? We don't want to add a server right now, so this is pretty much the summary. Um, this takes a while, so and while JDBS is installing, um, we are going to explore the quick starts a bit. This is basically a 9 megabyte big zip file, so we're just going to extract everything. Dirty. So let's look into the quick starts a bit. I already opened them here so you find all kinds of quick starts. Uh, the one we are looking into is the Hello World example today. So we're going to open that next. And as we can see, the JDBS installation is still working. So what else can we do? We can install JBoss EAP7. So, and this is literally the same uh, zip and extract everything into the folder of your choice. Um, I decided to pick JBoss EAP 7.0 in this case. Um, we do need to create an administrative user first, so let's switch into the directory and the bin folder and add a management user. Um, you may have noticed that we actually didn't start up EAP7 so far, so this is basically an offline, uh, uh, offline way of adding a user. We want to name that user admin, and we are aware that admin is easy to guess and that you should never use that kind of usernames in production environments. The same is pretty much true for the password, which will also be admin in this case. And yes, please make it at least eight characters long, have one alphabetic character and a digit and whatnot. But we want to have a quick demo here. So we don't need any specific groups and we wanted to add the user to the management realm. Uh, we don't need this user to be able to actually invoke remote calls. So that's about it. What about our JDBS installation? almost finished so let's click next uh, we don't want any shortcuts here so installation completed let's just run JDBS there we go um, we do actually want to have our own workspace and this is what we're going to do starting up fair enough if you've never seen it before um, this is JDBS. Um, the first time you start, it's going to ask you if you want to provide uh, anonymous usage statistic information. Um, decide whether or not I'm always a big fan of giving the development team some feedback about the work they're doing. Okay, um, now we want to actually look into the demo quick start hello world. So first thing to do, we are going to import an existing Maven project into our workspace. So we're 
just jumping into the directory where you extracted all the um, quick starts and select finish and that's about it. Um, JDBS is offering you to open the cheat sheet for uh, all the quick starts. Um, do whatever you like, play around with that. We're not going to do that. Um, we are going to explore the JBoss Hello World application a little bit. It's a pretty simple thing. We do have a surflet um, which puts out a little bit of HTML and actually has a hello service injected here. And this hello service creates a message. Um, let's look briefly into the hello service. So it basically puts out hello world. Right? So this is what we are going to deploy. Um, what else do we need? Um, we actually need to add our server instance. So at the moment we didn't configure anything. So we're going to add a new JBoss Enterprise Application Platform 7.0. Um, we want it to be a local instance. It's controlled via file system and shell operations. And we're going to create a new runtime. So we're going to configure the JBoss runtime itself. So the only thing you have to add here is the EAP home directory. And uh, click Next. Um, we don't want to deploy anything right now, so we just click finish at that point. In the service tab, you see the new server adapter configured. So the only thing left to do here is actually to right click your quick start demo, hello world, and run it on our newly configured server. Um, you can actually remember that setting if you'd like to, but you don't have to. Um, now the JBuzz Hello World project is added and when we click finish we can see that the server is starting up and this is exactly live. Um, so that was like what four seconds to get the whole instance up and running. And uh, JDBS is so nice to actually uh, already open the browser for us. So that's been it. Thanks for listening and uh, see you soon.